Hello, hello, it's Kat from the Fire Tuna Club. Welcome back for another episode about airbrushing. Remember, this is only a guide, not exact facts or any kind of definitive information that tells you exactly how to do something, because that's not how I roll. There's a lot you need to know about airbrush paint. However, I'm going to give you three good tips to help you at least narrow down your selection to make it easier to start somewhere. An important thing you have to know is I'm not telling you which brand to buy. I'm telling you what to look for when you're gonna go get your paint, okay? So, where did I put my paint? Any other day, I would say Game Color and War Paints are the most amazing paint ever. I love them, I can't live without them. Someday my wall will be covered in those paints. But not when the day involves airbrushing. Any kind of fast drying paint is a bad idea. The moment you turn your airbrush on and all that air blasts through, your paint is going to harden and turn into a clumpy mess. Not only is that not what you want the paint to do, too, it will involve you taking your airbrush apart and doing some heavy duty cleaning. So fast drying paints, bad idea. Been there, done that, oh boy was it a mistake. Technically. Any paint can work. I haven't used 50 cent acrylic paint from Walmart myself, but I have heard others who have, they've even used Liquitex paint. The thing about certain paints, if they are too thick, you will have to use airbrush thinner. You can make your own at home. There are YouTube recipes on how to do it. I would recommend if you're starting out, just buy a already ready made, you know it's gonna work brand. I have a teeny tiny bottle. If you know you're going to be in this for the long haul, get one of these bottles. Honestly, if you're like me, the easiest, simplest solution is to just start with airbrush paint. Technically, you're supposed to thin it. I don't. Mine works just fine. I bought a basic beginner's pack. You don't have to buy every color under the sun. With a little bit of YouTubing and color theory, you can mix to get what you want. And also... Pick whichever brand you like. If you want to buy a local, cool. If you don't, whatever. I actually am planning to go to Hobby Lobby and buy one of these bottles soon. But for now, I'm happy with what I got. I'm not using my airbrush all the time yet. I'm actually stepping it up. Really, I hope that what little I've told you helps you at least make a decision or helps you start somewhere. If you want to find more in-depth information, just YouTube it. There are a lot of people more experienced than I. A lot more breakdowns on paint types, things you should get, which brands have pros and cons, people who have worked with more. This is really just a beginner's guide for those of you who want to do one-of-a-kind custom dolls and you have no idea where to start when it comes to airbrushing. So, thank you for watching. The next part will come out at some point, I don't know when, but at least you know a little bit about paint now. Hey guys, you know the drill. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. If you want alerts the moment something new comes out, hit that bell button. And, huh, looks like I actually completed another video in the airbrush series. I'm really on a roll of getting stuff done. See you guys in the next video where I finish something else. Someday, this mess will be tamed, or I'll be buried under it. Wonder which one will come first.